watch the last YouTube video and if you didn't then you ain't a real one for number one but two uh, remember how I was like yo spam fit butters I'm a biggest fan blah 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 bruh guess who has a code now baby <laughs> I told y'all I fucking love them literally I'm gonna show you every flavor this is probably my favorite just because I like cookies a lot cinnamon sugar cookie fluffernutter which is basically like fucking like marshmallows um Banana maple French toast, s'mores, cookie monster, birthday cake, chocolate chip cookie dough, literally caramel fudge coconut cookie. Like, bruh, what the? Where where do they come up with these flavors? And guess what? February seventh, they're dropping red velvet cheesecake. My favorite, red velvet, and then cheesecake. What the fuck? So, if you want some. You already know, code FONTS, baby, to the fucking moon. If any of you guys shop at Costco, get the Atlantic Cod. This shit is 33 grams of protein per, I don't know, six ounces. 33 grams of protein per 130 grams. Don't know how much that is in ounces. But you know, zero fat, zero carbs. So literally, you need straight protein, you need no fat, get this shit. And then they got tomatoes, and then uh, green bean. I mean, it's not like amazing tasty, but you know, it uh, gets me my macros. You know what I mean? Honestly, man, just been feeling super blessed lately. Like literally, just it snowed all day today, and just looking outside, man, look how beautiful. Like, look, sun's peeking out. My backyard is just straight beautiful. I mean, I got a bunch of crap over there that I should probably organize. It's winter, so I don't really go out there too much. But dude, I have a whole deck, like, <laughs> it's just, 
It's surreal. Um, I bought this house right when I turned 20. I mean, I actually like, got accepted and stuff when I was 19. Like, isn't that crazy? Imagine buying a big ass house. Like, I literally have two stories. Like, like dude, I'm, my life is crazy. And I mean, it's not crazy because I made it this way. Nothing just fell in my lap, you know? And that goes with anything in life. Um, stuff that people have, I think people work for it. Uh, nothing just is handed to you. Uh, and that's something that you learn whether if you're in high school right now or you know you're growing up learn that nothing's handed to you dude like everything that you get you earn um and when you earn it it feels much better um this house feels amazing because it's mine like i i bought it myself it, nobody nobody helped me you know what i mean so i think that's just something that i'm very proud of you know i bought my own car at 18 that no one helping with no one helped me with that as well. My parents never helped me with any payments. Um, they never helped me with any loan for the house, anything. Uh, nothing in the process, no one helped me with. And that's something that I really take pride in because uh, I did this shit by myself. And that's the same thing with my fitness story. Um, you know, I got up out of bed. I did that shit all by myself. Uh, and that's something I will always, always be proud of of myself. Um, yeah. But let me show you the new drop coming for Dogged. Uh, I'll do a little try for y'all, see what's up. It's dropping February 10th, I think 10th. Yeah, so check it out. What's up, Kings? All right, check out this haul. Come on, freaking focus, you dumb little thing. One, here's some unreleased shit that you saw earlier. Really dope. I really like it. Look at this. The black, it's like mesh. Like, it's like see-through mesh. Here is the jacket that dropped in our first drop. So I think it's still available, I'm pretty positive. But as you can see, has this, has this reflective logo, has this reflective logo, really dope. And my favorite part about this one though, check that out, ooh. Your ass about to be looking nice as fuck. Like. Yeah, that's all reflective, so like with the light and stuff, like it turns all like white, you know, I don't know, so it looks dope. I like it for running. It's like tighter on the arms, so like literally when I'm doing arms, bro, I see my fucking bicep vein. It's pretty dope, but I like it for running. All right, and then right here, this is what is dropping on February 10th. Um, it's called the French Terry Collection. I really, really like this sweater. It's literally all black. I wish you could see more. I'll, I'll show you in my mirror, but all black has a... This is the joggers too. Has ribbed, ribbed um, raised lettering, so it's not like glued on type stuff. So like it's not gonna mess up in the washer dryer, which I really love. All costs raised right there, so that's really dope. Um, has the dog logo right there raised, really dope. And I say it hugs the calves more. But it doesn't make them look too small, I think. I don't know. I like it. Um, what I really like about this is the raised right there. See that? At all costs. And I really like that. And so that one's a more like heavier, boxier uh, sweater, which I like because I don't generally like sweaters that are super tight on me. I like to be loose. But this is also the cutoff that comes along with it. Um, really fucking dope. So it has the uh, bite marks right there. But I like this cutoff, dude, because I feel like aesthetic, retro type shit. I posted a photo with it on my giveaway and you saw it. Um, but yeah, I really like, you know, like fucking cuffed and, you know, shows the shoulders, but doesn't show too much. And I just really like how when I tuck it in, like, dude, when you tuck it in, just look at that aesthetic. I just really fuck with that aesthetic. So this is going to be like my fit. You know what I mean? When people wear this shit, you're going to think of phones, baby. Ah, so now the part that we've all been waiting for. So if you look down at my video, you'll see there's a 18 years old in life goals. Um, that was before I enlisted in the military, as you'll see. Um, and I listed all my goals for, you know, the future. And man, it's so funny to look back on because I was like, get sponsored and continue with this fitness stuff and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, man, like, I had no idea what was coming for me. Um, shit. Life has been a roller coaster to say the least since then. But I wanted to hop back on and I'm super about goals. You know, if you don't have a goal, you're planning to fail, really. Um, if you're not planning 
to do this, do that, and working towards something, then what the fuck are you doing? You're literally staying in the same place, not doing anything. Um, so, I mean, I could rant on about my goals and goals and goals, but I decided to write down a little bit and just share them. Um, it's just so I could have some structure. But, all right, here's my one year goals. Go on a solo trip to Europe. Not with my family, not with my mom, not with my dad. Go by myself, because fuck it. You know, I always wanted to go to Europe and do Imagine sitting at a cafe in Paris, in France, sipping on a cup of coffee. Guess what? That's gonna come to YouTube at some point this year. Um, I'm thinking after my competition, so, I don't know, November, December maybe? Um, hell, maybe I'll do it for Christmas, whatever. Secondly, do my second show and earn my natural pro bodybuilding card. I was so close last year. Um, I just need to build more mass, and that's exactly what we're doing right now. Um, and I'm, I'm coming for that shit, and I'm chasing it, and I'm gonna earn it. Create and start my successful website for coaching, programs, um, and, you know, everything to make this a career. Uh, and get that rolling this year, you know? Start start making big moves. Grow Dogged Sportswear into the hottest, you know, rising fitness brand in the industry. Man, like, I really believe in the brand, and, dude, we have such huge, huge things coming up, you have no idea. Um, and I really think that we have the potential to be insane. So, you know, as long as I'm grinding, as long as the boys are grinding, we're all grinding individually, we can make it. So I had 50K on TikTok. That's what I had as of uh, January 1st. Right now I'm at 45,000. So I'm about to hit it. Um, so I was going to say 50 again, but honestly, bro, fuck it. Let's say 100. Uh, Instagram, 30,000. Crazy. I'm almost halfway there. I'm at 14.1K right now. And that's literally after jumping from 9,000 to 14 in a matter of a week and before that you know i was i was at 1000 i jumped to 8000 in a month like it's been crazy um so we'll keep it at 30k realistic youtube 5000 subs i had 100 last month and now i have 430 so i mean we're getting somewhere but youtube's been really hard for me to grow but that's why i'll be consistent just be my best self possible you know always strive to be that best person that i can be you know that person that I envision, just keep making steps to be that person. You know, don't ever say, oh yeah, I'm satisfied at where I'm at. I'll, I'll never be satisfied. Buy another property somewhere and for vacation and Airbnb it. So like, you know, low key I might like do Houston. So I'll go and go down and clap with the boys there and then Airbnb it while I'm not staying there and, I'm, and I live in Virginia. Um, I'm all about that passive income, you know. I gotta make money moves other than this fitness stuff even though it's going very well for me. And overall, for this one year, get things set up to make this a career. Like, get things solidly set up to where I can leave Virginia, go move wherever I want in the whole freaking world, and continue this. That's the goal. Five-year plan. Start my own fitness clothing brand. I already have ideas that I'm writing down. Um, and it'll do really good. But I just need to build my brand, build my name, uh, build my name in the industry. And that's when I'll start, but just know, like, it's something unique. Um, you know, to make it in this thing, you gotta be unique. You can't just do the same shit. All right. Ten year plan. Start my own gym. It's really harder than you think. Um, a lot of people say it's really hard and money and this and that, but I'm a, I'm one of those people. I have like, I have like father characteristics. I think. Like, I'm going to be a good father one day if I decide, I don't know if I want to have kids because they're annoying as fuck. But, um, you know, like, I have my house and I have my roommates and I feel like I'm a father to them. And I feel like I can control a lot of people, um, like, be a boss and be a good leader. I feel like I'm a good leader. Um, so being in control of a gym, I feel like I can definitely do. Start something new in the fitness industry. Introduce something new, not just, oh, supplement company or this and that, like something that the fitness industry has never seen before and I spearhead it and I create it and everybody in the whole fitness industry will be like, yo, fucking Fonz created that shit. But this is 10 years, so I have a lot of time, but like, you know, that, that one thing, I'm gonna look back in 10 years and find that one thing that made me, you know, shoot to the top and it'll be that. And just know I had the idea right now. Just to end it off, man, I feel like I was made for this content creating. I was made for, you know, YouTube, for TikTok and Instagram. I know how little that sounds, but social media is such a big influence in everyone's life right now. And if you're not taking advantage of it, you're losing out on, you know, 
so much. Um, if you're working a job you hate, um, dude, do you like making content? Do you, you know, you just have to grind. Um, but I feel like I was literally made for this. I enjoy making TikToks. I enjoy making YouTube. I enjoy getting raw footage and creating it into um, some sick ass edits and, you know, like creating something out of my bare hands and making it, you know, and recording and, and showing my creativity and being myself. I feel like, um, I truly feel like I was just made for this. Um, I can handle all the stress. I can handle the grind. I love the grind. I love waking up and doing this shit. You know, I love waking up, working out, working on my YouTube. Every spare moment that I have, I put into this. There's no moment where I'm resting on my bed just hanging out anymore, dude. Every moment, I'm either thinking about future moves, I'm thinking about future TikToks, I'm thinking about future reels, I'm thinking about future posts, thinking about plans, thinking about my workout, thinking about meals. I'm always doing something to progress me. Um, and I feel like that's why I'm, I'm fucking made for this shit and I'm different. If you look down on my videos, you'll see that I've always had that grind. Um, you know, I've had that passion and that vision, but inevitably things stop me and I let them stop me. But now nothing is stopping me and I'm going full force to reach every fucking goal that I have. So I'm going to reach every single one of them. This year is my year. So cheers to 21. My birthday is next week. Um, this is me, Ian Fonville at 20 years old and all of my life goals. Let's see what 21 brings. Let's fucking go, baby.